uh, the International Stylish Conference was held here in 2009, and there was a poster about the Lactobacillus Hilgardii. And this novel strain of lactic acid bacteria caught our attention, and we started a partnership with the University of Lavras in Brazil. So from that point, we started developing these individual strains, and when we saw these interesting results in the terms of aerobic stability, early opening, we decided to move along and try to do some type of uh, connection with the Lactobacillus buchneri that was already the gold standard in aerobic stability. However, buchneri had a little shortcoming in terms of time of opening and expected results. So we decided just to do some validation studies, making combination with this Lactobacillus hilgardii as well as with Lactobacillus buchneri. And the final step was just to go to different universities here in the US or around the world just to validate these results that were found. And finally, all we were waiting for was the FDA approval. And now we have Lactobacillus hilgardii in Magniva Platinum. We started by all the European Union. That was the first part where we were able to launch the new technology and the new, the, the new Magniva. So in fact, it was close to 2019 where we started introducing a bit on over all the territories in, in, in European Union. So the feedback has been very, very positive. We now, with Magniva and with the new technology, all our range represents more than 58% of all our total sales, which is for the pandemic situation and all these last four years, it, I think it was really, really, really great. And the feedback has been very, very positive because we are not only talking about a new brand, but also a new technology. And this came also as a new standard to the market, to the industry. Uh, and knowing that almost 60% of all our uh, territory and all our uh, sales are already on Magniva, that's, that's the evidence that, uh, that things are going very well. Well, if you look at all of our Magniva line of inoculants, we focus on the different challenges. So we have the front-end homolytic products, but also the back-end products we call for aerobic stability. And the gold standard was always our Lactobacillus buchneri 4788, that's on our Magniva Titanium. So there's a little shortcoming with this product, is that ideally we would wait 60 days of storage to see the full effect of that fresh feed during feed out. And with the Magniva Platinum, we can open the silo as early as 15 days and see a significant improvement in aerobic stability. It's basically all the best we can offer in this product. The early siling, very efficient. The enzyme package, feeding up the bacteria during siling, as well as just soften up the fiber for our enhanced fiber digestion. And the improved aerobic stability, not only at early openings, but also at the long term, we see more hours of stability compared to the titanium formulation. It's something that's really needed from the producers, especially when we look at these shorter inventories and the challenge that we've seen along the years. And people, they need to feed fast and they cannot afford just to wait the silo to ferment for months. So in this case, we have like more flexibility compared to the titanium formulation, also with the Buchneri technology for extended feed-out stability. We have the enzyme package and the front-end fermenter. So everything that's good just to put the producer in control of their silage and get the most in terms of dry matter, nutrient retention, also the hygienic aspects of the silage for the best animal performance. Myself, I grew up on the farm and still farm and it's something that we cannot plan everything. So we have a drought, we have some conditions that the yields are lower, the inventories are becoming more and more of an issue, and we cannot just afford to wait months in storage in the silo, fermenting. And we have to open that silo, and sometimes we don't see that stability during feed out. And the Magniva Platinum with the Hilgardia technology helps on that particular aspect. So we can open the silo early, we have a more stable feed for the animals at the feed bunk, at the silo phase. And also we have the whole package, everything that we can offer the best. The front-end fermenter, the enzyme package, 
and the Book Norai and Hill Gardner technology. I have to tell you that we are very proud with that. Uh, I think that being very humble, however, very, very proud with what we have acquired until now in terms of data. If we take a look at the, the former standard technology that was all about Lactobacillus buchneri, a technology that is still state-of-the-art technology, but already a uh, long time ago, for the same period with this new technology, we are having much more data to certify and to prove the efficacy of our product than what we had with our former technology. And the good point is that all this research comes from independent uh, research institutes and universities. We have data coming from Delaware University here, we have data coming from Torino University in Italy, we have data coming from Catalonia in, uh, in Spain, from uh, a research facility in Blanca, so it's great. So that is showing, and I think that the farmer can trust uh, a lot in the, the efficacy results. One of the other points that uh, I think it's important to focus is that we are having data on feed efficiency that was something that for the, um, the industry, when we talk about forage inoculants, uh, it's not easy to find and it's not easy to search for it. So we have data showing the increase in feed efficiency, which once again uh, can, I would say, um, show to, the, to our customer the trust that he can have in all the, the inoculants that we are providing to the market.